So Ooh. we're based in Confucius cultures. Yes. Uh, obviously, students are not um, raised to, to ask questions. There you go. So, um, how do you yes. facilitate the asking? What what tools do you use? Where do they where do they put their questions? How do oh, okay, that's good. That's good. All right. Now I was going to take you directly to the digital learning platform. Okay, but there is firewalls. I could not show you that. However, what happens is that okay, on the at the beginning of the class, I tell students that they have to do okay, they have to ask four questions. Okay, and then they can decide when they okay are ready. You know, okay, depending on the content of the chapter that they are reading, so they can okay uh, upload their TQ. And when I don't see okay, like in the, that's why okay, I also designed okay the paired TQ discussion. In other words, two students need to work together. Each of them are required to post two thought questions okay during the week of their uh, before the week of their presentation. And then I ask the other students to support them. Okay, so naturally, okay, this is done basically in a required way, but they only need to do, okay, one. Okay, but then throughout the semester, they have to, okay, at least ask five TQs and five, okay, giving response, okay, right, to five peers. And it's done on the noodle thing, like, the, you know, okay, the learning, digital learning platform. That's right, okay. Oh.